Hello there besties, welcome again to Sizzle Diaries. If you are tuning in for the first time today, a very warm welcome to you as well. Today, I am bringing you another proudly Namibian recipe, Herrero Bread. Combine half a cup of lukewarm water and six tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix well and add instant dry yeast. That's 10 grams of course. Save six level cups of all-purpose flour. Make a well in the center of the mixing bowl, add one teaspoon of salt and pour the yeast mixture and begin to work your way around the flour and keep adding small amounts of water at a time until the dough can no longer be mixed with a spatula. If you would like your dough to proof really well, you can add a quarter of a cup of omaere. Omaere is basically a term used for cultured milk in Oshiherero language, which is one of the local vernaculars or dialects spoken in Namibia. Knead your dough for 10 minutes and at this point if you can observe the dough is sticky because the gluten hasn't been formed properly. This can be corrected by allowing the dough to rest. Continue kneading the dough until all visible traces of all-purpose flour cannot be seen. Then add a tablespoon of ghee. The trick here is to pull the dough from the side and bring it in the center forming a fist. Repeat this process over and over again until all the ghee has been incorporated into the dough. After 15 minutes of kneading, the dough is visibly smooth and not sticking. Then transfer it to a greased uh, mixing bowl and cover it with clean film. Allow it to rest in a dark area for approximately one hour. After one hour of proofing, this is how your dough should look like. The dough has doubled in size, so the next step is for you to remove the air out of the dough by pressing a hole in the middle of the bowl. Then, remove the dough from the bowl and continue kneading for another 5 minutes using the extra flour 
Kneading requires pressing, pulling back and forth, stretching and basically playing around with the dough to develop the gluten. Mold the dough in the shape that you want it to take on once it's done baking. Transfer the dough to a greased poiki pot. Close with a lid and leave it on the kitchen counter for approximately 30 to 45 minutes after which this is how the results should look like. Your dough has second proofed and doubled in size again. Pop the poiki pot in an oven which has been preheated to 185 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes and continue baking the bread for one hour uninterrupted. Allow it to cool for 15 minutes before removing it from the pot. Voila! Authentic Herrero bread forms a yummy, crisp, golden brown crust. Have you given this video a massive thumbs up yet? Have you subscribed? If you like to see more of this content, Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a massive thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching. Bye besties.